So if you're a fan of Ruby Dixon, Flores Fiasco came out, um, and I want to talk about some of the overarching plot of that series. So if you don't want any spoilers, don't watch this video, but if you want to get some, like, conspiracy theories, we're down, right? So last chance, spoilers for Flores Fiasco, Ruby Dixon, get out now. So as long as this series has been going on, um, they talk about, like, the history of the planet and the people that were, live on that planet, on Nod Hoth. There's just been like a lot of like little weird things like when they found the croatoan village on the walls were uh like cave paintings of a different type of people but there was an entire village right and when cali they went to a cave there were people drawn on the wall there now the guys that were from the island refer to the people the people that lived out there so there was a native people living on the planet obviously now we know what the people that they had four arms a long tail that dragged on the ground we know that their horns were really tall um we know that they were furry because like the sakui don't grow facial hair the men from the island all have facial hair. but what we also know is that like the people on the island there were five clans right and if you were born with one of the characteristics you ended up in one of the four clans unless you didn't have a defining characteristic and then you ended up an outclass outcast clan now with Daisy reading what was that what Penny found on the wall at the Elder's Cave at the end of the book and Rajal getting kidnapped, one of the things that I forgot about was the fact that the people from the island camouflage. The islanders camouflage. And when speaking to my friend last night who just finished the book and we're like throwing conspiracy theories out at each other, I remember that in Kira's book, before Harlow got kidnapped, there was this passage, we are not alone, he said. And that's Haydn talking. My hackles rise at the sight of the footprints on the unsoiled snow. There's not, they're not deep enough to be mine or Haydn's, and the shape and size are wrong for human feet, but it's clear that during the night we were visited by something or s someone or something. I squat down next to him and touch the track. The snow is crusted, meaning that the track is several hours old. I don't recognize this creature. The track itself is the size of my own foot, shaped with three prongs for toes. I have three toes, but not as but not like this. There were tracks there, and like at the time I just thought it was Rook, because that's who kidnapped Harlow right next. But what if the people that were threatening the reason that they closed the fruit cave in the first place, that was our first sign of them, was them watching them at the Elder Cave. It was Harlow, Hayden, uh, Kira, and Ihako. I could be crazy, but I feel like the fact that we know no, we had to be reminded that they could camouflage when the Matlacks went by. They've been here the whole time. And I bet if I reread the series, more stuff is popping up. I love Ruby Dixon. <laughs>